On the last day of dry weather last fall, my husband Dan and I were out gardening in our front yard in Tompkinsville. Dan came across a praying mantis egg sack while pruning a hawthorn bush, and even though the branch it was on blocked the view outside our dining room window, we decided to leave it be in case the egg sack might hatch. Fall turned to winter, then spring, and the bugs finally crawled out into the world on a warm Sunday. May 16th, 2010. In the space of about two hours, hundreds of mantises emerged from tiny flaps inside the case and hung in a swarming mass at the end of silken threads a few inches below the sack. They emerged looking larval, but as they dried, they unfolded their raptorial legs and began to crawl onto nearby leaves. They also changed in shade from honeydew green to corn husk brown. Praying mantises are not uncommon on Staten Island, and they've even become iconic since a 14-foot mantis statue was installed to guard the Children's Museum at Snug Harbor Cultural Center in Livingston. But there were none in 1901 when the naturalist William T. Davis received egg clusters from the insects native to Japan but sent from Philadelphia to his home in St. George. He hatched them in his home on St. Mark's Place and in two briar patches in the Clove Valley. If this mantis could be established on our island, it could have no other than beneficial results, he wrote in a paper he gave to the Natural Science Association of Staten Island in 1902 because mantises feed on caterpillars and other insects, including spiders, flies, and mosquitoes. Mantises are predators, and infamously, the female sex is known for biting the heads off of males after mating. The female then lays a frothy deposit of eggs that harden into a styrofoamy mass a little smaller than a walnut. The babies, called nymphs, emerge with healthy appetites, eating whatever's inside. I felt lucky to have spotted the bugs hatching when I did, because the birth happened so quickly, leaving no traces. After three hours, only a few mantises remained on the hawthorn branch, and if we weren't looking closely, we'd never know they were there. This is Tava Platt, reporting from Tompkinsville for the Staten Island Advance. Mm -hmm.